Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome to this video, guys. My name is Diakad Zaman. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. This is Mukhtasar al Quduri, and without any delay, hit the like, subscribe button, and check out my videos. We are cracking on with this thing. So, this series is dedicated to helping you guys to understand Mukhtasar al Quduri. So, first of all, we try to explain meanings of the words. So, man ba'a ina'a fiddatin. Right, so ina means vessel. Okay, so vessel <coughs> and fidda means silver. Okay, so silver. Uh, in fact, should I just make this a bit bigger for you guys then to be able to see as well? Okay, let's make this a bit bigger. Okay, so thumma iftaraqa, it means to part ways. Qabada, uh, it means to take possession. We've done that before. Thaman doing that, Batala doing that, Akad contract, Yakbidu to take possession, Saha <coughs> it's valid, uh, Ina is a vessel, uh, Mushtarakan is shared, okay, so it's shared, uh, okay, Ustuhika it means to be claimed by a third person, okay, claimed by a third person. بعض الإناء مش كان كان المشتري زبايا باقي is the leftover or remainder. Okay, and حصة it means its portion. And then من الثمن وإن شاء رده رده it means to to get a full refund return. باع قطعة قطعة means a piece نقرة it means a nugget. Right, so a put a piece. Yeah. Nugget. First to hikka ba'duha bi histi ala khiyara. Then this before khiyara means uh, option. And then dirhamain is two silver coins. Dinar, gold coin. <coughs> then all that. Ja'ala kullu wahin jinsain. Same genus. So that's genus type. Badalan min al jins al akhar in exchange. Uh, and then let's go down over here. Okay, the Ba'a Ahad. Let's go a bit further. Okay, so Ba'a Ahad Ashara, 11. Dirham uh, Ashara Darahim, Jaz al Bay, Wakant al Ashara. Okay, so all of this is straightforward. Sahihain uh, means good quality. Ghalla. Okay, Ghalla means poor quality. Sahih wa Dirhamin Ghalla. Okay, so let's have a go at the Tarkib of this thing because that's another thing that you guys. Some of you guys are really into Tarkib, so let's do a bit of Tarkib then. Alright, so he says, Man ba'a, man ba'a yabi'u inna'a mudaf mudaf ilayhi. Okay, thumma iftaraqa, this is dual, times two fi'al mudari. Wa qad qabada, and he has taken possession, ba'da thamanihi. Alright, so ba'da thamanihi, batala fi'al al-aqdu zafail. فيما لم يقبض okay. وصحة فيما قبض وكان الإناء اسم كان مشتركا مشتركا so the خبر of كان so the اسم خبر وإن أستحس المجهول okay. أستحق بعضه نائب فائل مضاف مضاف إليه كان المشتري إن المشتري is going to be مشتري if you know why put it in the comments below why does he have a school? Bil khiyari in sha'a akhad al baqiya bi hissatihi min al thamani wa in sha'a raddahu raddahu wa man ba'a qit'ata nukratin or nukratin fas tuhiqqa again the same thing tuhiqqa ba'duha akhadha fi'al ma baqiya بحصته ولا خيارة زلنا في الجنس هم بعد الحمين دينارا بدينارين ودرها من جاز البيع في الفايل وجعل كل واحد أو جئلي كسي جئلة كسي أو مكي جئلة أو جئلة كل واحد من الجنسين بدلا من الجنس الآخر. Okay, so again straightforward, nothing really special. 
there well obviously it's all special but man ba'a ahada ashara if you know why is this ahada ashara <coughs> single fatha on both wadir haman bi ashara bi ashara ti darahima wadinarin jaz al bay'u wa kanat this is dinarin because it's out of on to ashara okay so out of on to ashara that's majroor therefore this is majroor and this is mansoor because it's tamiz wa kanat al ashara bi mithliha wa al dinar bi dirhamin okay wa yajuz fi al bay'u dirhamain sahihain wa dirha min dirham غلة بدرهم صحيحين ودرهمين actually no this is me درهم غلة ودرهمين غلة okay alright so let's have a look at this then let's see what it's saying okay actually you know we'll make it we're gonna make it into mansub Okay, so otherwise it doesn't make sense. It can't become a sifa or a badal here. <coughs> so I can say غلتن غلتن بدرحمين غلتن فمن حيث أنه غلة. Okay, so that's the tarkib. Then let's crack on with explaining the masal. So the masal here are straightforward here. They're not anything difficult. Insha Allah Taala. Okay, what so what's happening over here? What is he saying? So first of all, he says. Whoever purchases a vessel, so let's say for example, this is a, a vase someone someone buys. And this vase is made from silver. And what's happened is basically the guy has bought this <coughs> has sold this vase to a customer <coughs> and he's given silver coins for it. So he's given silver coins for it. Now, if these coins are given to this guy and this guy gets the vase, <coughs> then what has to happen in this situation is if it's obviously silver for silver, then you have the same genus being exchanged over here. And if obviously it's gold for silver, right, gold for silver, then it's a different situation. We're talking about what if it's silver for silver over here, silver for silver. So if the exchange is done like this and they both walk away and the amount of silver in this vessel is the same as in the coins. So let's say, for example, like it's, I don't know, 100 grams of silver there and 100 grams of silver there. <coughs> and this is fine and this is fine. And they both walk off. But what if it's 100 grams there and 100 grams there and this guy, the, the, the seller, has only taken half of the coins yeah, he's only taken half, 50% of the coins. He hasn't taken it all. And he's walked off, he's left. So therefore, technically, this guy has still got the vase. And he's also got some coins. Yeah, so let's say he's got um, half of the coins. And this guy's got half of the coins. So this, what's going to happen in this situation? Uh, he says that in order for us to try and make the Muslims contract jais, how much is half of 100 so half of 100 is 50, 50 grams. Yeah, 50 grams is half. So <clears throat> we're going to have to force ourselves to say the transaction. <clears throat> so if I give it a different color, I think it's going to be a bit easier. Now. Right. So let's say, for instance, I say this is the vase. Okay, this is the vase. Let's color this vase in this nice greeny color. And he's handed it over to him, obviously. And now uh, he's these coins over here are this color. Okay, whatever color you want that to be. So, technically, what's happened now is this that vase only half of it has come into this guy's ownership, the other half is still belonging to the other guy. Yeah, and the reason for that is because this guy has still got these coins here. Right, so that's there, and these coins obviously are with him. 
So this much of the transaction is considered to be valid. Right, so this much of the transaction. Yeah, so this much of it, 50% of it <coughs> is valid. And this one has not gone through. That's why he says over here, he says, Woman ba'a, whoever sells ina afidda, so this vase, thumma ftaraqa, and then the two parties separate from each other, this guy and this guy. وَقَدْ قَبَضَ بَعْدَ ثَمَنِهِ And this guy has taken possession of some of the thaman. بَطَلَ الْأَقْدُ فِي مَا لَمْ يَقْبِذ The contract becomes nullified in what he hasn't taken possession of. So he hasn't taken possession of these, so that becomes void. <coughs> yeah, he hasn't taken possession of those, so that becomes void now. So it's like only half of it has been sold. وَصَحَ فِي مَا قَبَضَ yeah, and it's, it's sahih in what he has taken possession of. Right, so those are fine. وَكَانَ الْإِنَاءُ مُشْتَرَكًا بَيْنَهُمَا And now the vessel is going to be shared between them 50-50 now. Now, we try to make the Muslims' contract as possible, as valid as possible, and that's why we ended up having to do this. Otherwise, the whole thing wouldn't have gone through. Okay, now, let's say, for example... Um, so this this is this is the scenario, okay? Now let's say we have a different scenario over here. Let's come up with a different scenario. What's our different scenario? Okay. Our, our other scenario is this. So there's a guy. Let's do a different color, I think. Right, so he's selling a vessel. This is the vessel. And there's another guy. He's got coins. Okay. Now, obviously, if they were to do the transaction, hand over the coins, hand over the vessel, 100 grams, 100 grams of silver, all right, deal's done, no problem, that's fine. But what happens if, <coughs> what happens if a third person comes along and he claims, right, so remember now, this guy has taken this now, okay, so this vase has now actually gone into the ownership Let's call this guy Mr. Yellow. So Mr. Yellow now has taken possession of all that. <coughs> and let's call the other guy Mr. Blue. Okay, so Mr. Blue has taken possession of all those coins. <coughs> Apologies for my coughing. Okay, now this third person, he is what we call a mustahiq. He is a someone who's making a claim now. So he is making a claim that this vase actually belongs, half of it belongs to him. Right, he said 50% of it is mine. It was wrongfully sold. <coughs> it was wrongfully sold. He's gone to the courts, right? He's made a claim and he's won his claim in the courts. He's got 50% of that. So 50% of his. Now remember, this has already been transferred onto this guy's side. So technically, I mean, if I rewrite this, redraw this again, rather. Uh, right, if I do that, then I redraw this again. So I put the vase over here. The yellow vase now, it's become his. And the blue coins over here, right, so they've become his. And this other guy who is now making the claim, he's saying 50% of that is his. So what's happened over here is <clears throat> he wins the case. Once he wins the case, he gets this. Now, this guy, <clears throat> does he have to share the other half? Remember like the previous muscle we said, he has to share. So... Do we say that this guy now must share 50%? So in this case, we say no. He does not have to. He has a choice. That's the whole point of this. So in Ustuhiqa, if it's claimed Ba'adul Ina is some of the vessel by this guy over here. Kan al Mushtari, the Mushtari is going to have a choice now. This guy over here is going to have <coughs> a choice. In Sha'a, Akhad al Baqiya bi Hissatihi. So he either is going to say, right, I want my coins back now. I want half of my coins back because half of the thing has been claimed. I want, basically, I want that back. Give me that back. Right, so he either gets that, that back or uh, he can just get a full refund. Right, get the whole thing back. So here Imam Quduri wants to differentiate between the two masalas. Okay, the two different masalas. The first masala is the masala of if a person was to buy, but he didn't give the 
full money, then obviously to save them from riba, if you allow that. And the second masla is, what if the same thing happened, but this time the problem was caused by a third person claimant, a guy making a claim. In that case, the mushri does not have to stick with 50% um, and he can actually get it back because he's not happy with this. He's not happy with this deal. Okay. Okay. Um, next. وَمَنْ بَاءَ قِطْعَةَ نَقْرَةٍ فَاسْتُحِقَّ بَعْدْهَا This same masala, what if we were to, what if we were to re-look at this masala, but in the case of a nukra, right? So a nukra is basically, if I, if I just uh, rewrite this masala slightly, we'll actually make some more space, that's better. Now this is obviously if it's, if it's a vase, isn't it? Now a vase, obviously, it's going to be something which, if you half it, it's going to mess up. But let's say the masala was with regards to a, a piece of gold nugget. Yeah, so gold nugget. Now gold nugget is unrefined. Yeah, is it double G? Is it one G? Uh, so anyway, the issue over here is if the same 50% thing happened over here. Yeah, so... Let's say, for instance, this is the this is the seller. So the seller sells this to this guy, yeah. But then a claimer comes and he makes a claim of fifty percent of it. Okay, so he says fifty percent is mine. So now in this case, does the buyer again get a choice of whether he wants to keep that fifty percent of his and get a half refund, partial refund, or does he get the choice to get a full refund? We allowed him to have a choice in the vase, in the vessel, but do we allow him in the nugget? So he says no. In the nugget, you do not have that choice, right? So why is this? Why is there a difference? Man ba'a, whoever sells nukrata, qit'ata nukrat, nukratin, piece of a nugget, fastuhiqa ba'duha, some of it was claimed by a third person, like over here, akhada ma baqiya, the buyer has to take what's left, bihissatihi, and he gets no choice. Yeah, so he's going to get his 50% back money because obviously that's been taken. But he can't have any choice in the remainder because if you were to cut a nugget in half, it does not affect the nugget itself. As opposed to if you were to cut a vessel in half, it will actually affect the value of it. The value will decrease because part, part of that vase is that its value is because of its intact state. Okay, so that's the two missile over here. Okay, let's um, <clears throat> let's have a look at the next one then. Okay, man dirhamini wa dirhamin jazal bay. So let's move this up a bit. Okay, so over here a bit. So he says, in fact. Let me do this. Let me just zoom all this. Make this a bit smaller. It's the good thing that you can do with technology. You can play around with the other loads. Yeah. Oops. Okay. And there we go. Just shrunk. Just shrunk this. Okay. So let's go back to this. So a person sells. <clears throat> A person sells coins now. So on one side, there's a seller. On one side, there's a buyer. Okay. So this guy has two silver coins. So silver I'll do in, in, in black color. Yeah. So two silver coins and a gold coin. Okay. So it looks like a smiley face or a I don't know, snowman. In exchange for two gold coins and a silver coin yeah two gold coins and a silver coin so will this transaction be allowed see now you see the problem with this transaction is is evident right because you have two gold coins there so two and then you have one over here and clearly if you were to sell two gold coins for one silver coin that is impermissible because it's not equal and then you've got one silver and you've got two gold coins over here. And then you've got inequality between them, 
right? So it should not be allowed technically, but we've actually allowed this. And the reason we've allowed is we've said that because there are multiple objects in this transaction, in order to make the Muslims contract as jais as possible, we can actually say that these two are in exchange for them, them two, and this is in exchange for that. Yeah, so two gold for the two silver, and the one silver for the one gold. And that would be permissible. If you had to sell them separately, that would be permissible. So therefore, in this transaction, we allow this as well. Yeah, so look, man ba'a dirhamayni wa dinaran. Whoever sells two silver coins and a gold coin, bi dinarayni wa dirhamayni, in exchange for two gold coins and a silver coin. Jaz al bay'u wa ju'ila and kullu wahid and each one of the two genuses will be made a badal and a substitute min al jins al akhar for the other opposite genus. So you see what happens there? This is what we call uh, trying to make a Muslim's contract as jais as possible. Right? So this is what you want to learn in fiqh as well. Whenever someone comes to you with a particular masala, you want to try to see how you can make that particular masala jais as possible. Okay, that's that masala then. And we have um, two more masala left. So again, so what? how would we then make, how would we then make this other masala? In fact, I can write this muscle over here because no problem. Yeah, no problem. So this other muscle is like that, same thing. Yeah, so you have, in this case, um, but, but it's, you, you, you'll be able to tell what the issue is. So you've got 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You've got 11 silver coins, okay? 11 silver coins. And you've got... 10 silver coins so 7 8 9 10 and one gold coin okay so can you make that permissible would it be permissible technically if that gold coin wasn't there you would not be allowed to make that permissible because you clearly on one side have 10 of these and 11 of these right but because you got this one gold what we can do is we can say okay this one gold is going to be in exchange for this one one and that 10 is going to be an exchange for the 10. All right, so same thing over here. We've just made the Muslims contract jais, and that's an excellent thing. So he says, Woman, ba'a, whoever sells ahad ashara dirhaman, 11, 11 silver coins, bi ashara darahim wa dinar, for 10 silver coins and one gold, jaz al bay'u, wa kanat al ashara to the 10, bi mithli ha will be for the 10. Wadinaru bidirham and the gold coin will be for the silver coin. Okay, finally, last masala. So here's a, a common sort of like issue that was raised in the past. We don't have it today, but I'll just mention it anyway. So let's say for instance a person he wants to sell, there's a guy, and this guy he wants to sell two high quality and put I'm gonna put ticks there, okay. So tick, tick, these are two high quality silver coins. And plus, all right, let's put like a low quality. I don't know what we're going to use for low quality. Okay, so light blue. This is low quality. Yeah, this is what we call ghalla. Ghalla means a low quality coin that's not accepted uh, by the Beitul Mal. They don't accept it. Right? So it's, it's like a, a coin that is faulty. It's not really of the same color. Because remember, it's coins we're talking about metal. And on the other side is a guy, and this guy, he basically has one good quality coin, yeah, so one top quality coin, and he's got two, two low quality silver coins. <coughs> is that permissible? So technically, we don't have gold and silver, we actually have silver coins, and they're all silver really, but it's just those two are. So in this case, you know, if we make, obviously, if you, if you try to do this and say, right, so we've got one for two and two for one, that's not jais. So you can't do that. So in this case, what we say is that overall, because it's still technically considered to be silver, it would be considered to be permissible. Yeah, so, وَيَجُوزُ بَيْءُ الدِّرْحَمَيْنِ Permissible to sell two good co silver coins and a low quality silver coin. 
بدرهم فو اي جود كوالتي سيلفر كوين صحيح و درهمين غلطا right permissible and this is because they all silver and they all kind of work out and even if they didn't work out we can still switch these two for these two and that for that if if worse comes to us right so there's a way of trying to make this contract جائز as we can all right so that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this lesson let's check out just an overview some questions you got some questions for you guys okay so is it permissible to sell a vase for 100 gram vase for 100 grams of silver coins yes what if one of the guys doesn't take the full money and walks off then we say half of the transaction hasn't been done half has been done why do we allow that for to make a muslim's contract as جائز as possible what if the same thing happened with a with a uh, situation with a nugget uh, or a so if um sorry not nugget if it happened and a third person was to was to make a claim what would happen in that situation so if a third person claim and made a claim of, of half of the vase then only half of the contract will go through and the guy would have to share half of it but this time he has a choice he can either keep that half or he can the buyer can walk off and get a full refund and what if it happens with a nugget? If it happens with a nugget, then in that case, the buyer must keep half the nugget and get a, a partial refund only, not a full refund. Okay, what if a person was to sell two silver coins for two gold coins? So two silver coins and a gold coin for two gold and a silver. That would be jais. But isn't it kind of riba? We say, no, it's not because we're trying to make the Muslims contract as jais as possible. We just shift around and we can work out that two silver silver can be in exchange for two gold one silver for one gold and that's okay and the same thing happens if you have 11 silver and 10 gold and one uh, 10 silver one gold um jays. and likewise if you have two silver and one low quality silver and one good quality silver and two low quality ones all right guys zakhmullah khair i hope you guys enjoyed this lesson let me know if you have any questions or anything and uh, thank you as patrons for supporting my channel may allah bless all of you guys in this dunya and the akhirah if anyone wants to support my channel please check out the description below and um, that's it guys, I will see you guys next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.